Hello, everyone. I'm Wang Wenqing from Beijing Institute of Fashion Technology, China. It's really a great honor for me to give this lecture for 2022 International Research Awards on New Science Inventions. Today, my topic is about the thermal degradation and flame retardancy prediction of iron, aluminum, and copper-based metal organic framework and polyethylene terephthalate nanocomposites using DFT calculation. Uh, here, I would like to share the research progress in my group on the flame retardant uh, polyethylene terephthalate and its fibers. Um, I would introduce the following four parts, background, schematic design, results and discussion, and finally, the summary. As is known to all, polyethylene terephthalate, generally abbreviated as PET, is a commonly used commercial polymer. It is extruded or molded into plastic bottles or containers for packaging foods and beverages, personal care products, and many other consumer products in our daily life. PET has been approved as safe for con contact with food. Um, PET itself is also biologically inert. Moreover, PET is a commonly used commercial textile fiber, account for its good thermal and chemical stability, high mechanical strength, low permeability to gas, and excellent spinability. However, the linear structure of polyester led to its high risk to flammable. The fire disaster results from textile accounts for 50%. So, it's very necessary to increase the fire-resistant PET and PET fiber. Um, with the uh, uh, national laws and regulations has been put forward on flame retardant materials, flame retardant PET uh, demand are increasing, and there are many many application fields for flame retardant PET and its fibers, uh, including in military such as uh, combat uniforms and contents um, for the troops, and including the civilian usage such as uh, firefighting clothes or the home textiles, and also in the industrial, uh, in industrial usage in vehicles, aircrafts, ships, and other inter uh, other interior materials. For example, the safety belts of children's seats uh, in the car has become legal and regular, uh, regular really requirements in Europe. Um, with, in the past uh, for past years, there has been made many progress on flame retardant polyester and its uh, fabrics. Today, uh, polyester flame resistance property was mainly obtained by the co-polymerization, especially for the commercialized flame retardant polyester products. The flame retardant of phosphorus containing co-polyester was mostly achieved by removing heat and spark from the flame zone through, through, through melt dripping but it easily leads to secondary bone. And we can check this video first. We can see from this video that the rest sample um, is a commercial phosphorus flame retardant PET. Um, we can see the flame was easily quenched through by or by the melt droplet within a few seconds. However, compared with the left one, uh, compared with the right one, the left one is a com common PET fabric. It easily burns. 
and it was born to completely within a few seconds. Um, but the but we also put forward one question: Does um, flame retardant is conflict with uh, anti dripping? If we want to get a better flame retardant PET, um, we we cannot solve the problem of anti dripping. Um, from the aspect of copolymerization, we have made some progress to solve the conflict between flame retardant and anti droplet um, by by the smart self cross linking or by the ionic aggregation um, or the rearrangement at high temperature. However, uh, this copolymerization strategy also bring in some problems such as the reduce in the mechanical properties and the expensive monomers um, and the higher polyester cost for to prepare flame retardant PET. From the aspect of blinding, there also emerged some kind of different kinds of um, nano nano sized uh, flame retardants uh, as a blinder to solve the flame retardant and anti uh, drip anti dripping and the smoke separation of the PET uh, is including the um, mono monomer 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 nitrinate and uh, uh, zinconide phosphate uh, zinc carbonate, pulse, and uh, titanic dioxide. From the aspect of surface strategy, a variety of physical or chemical surface modification methods, including spreading, uh, solution dripping, sugil, and layer by layer, chemical grafting, controlled loving radical polymerization, has been applied to facilitate function coating fabrication. One of the significant advantage for surface modification is the adaptability without considering the spin, sp spinability of PET. From this aspect, aspect our research group has applied um, LBL assembly um, technique coupled with UV irradiation to uh, construct the anti-droplet an, anti coating on the PET fabric. Um, LBL assembly was simply proceeded by alternative adsorption of objectively charged electrodes or nanoparticles to form positive-negative pair deposition, uh, we, we also call it bilayer, by electrostatic attraction. In a, um, we successfully uh, fabricated the uh, LBL multilayer coating um, of about about 100, 100 nanometer thick, composed of KH55, um, SVE beta CD, and DDP, one kind of phosphorate um, containing flame retardant. This coating should good anti-dripping performance with high um, limiting oxygen index value of up to 36%. And is your, uh, your rating reached the reach the V0. Besides, we also applied the surface initiated loving and controlled free radical polymerization strategy to construct a smoke separation coating on the PET fabric surface. The maximal total smoke release up to 86% with the 60.25% uh, pulse grafting. Um, also, there has been made many progress in anti-dripping, smoke separation, and flame retardant PET synthesis. 
The key factor for the development of high-quality PET is still the development of normal flame retardant. In recent years, mental organic frameworks has become one of the emerging flame retardants due to their high um, catalyst ability and good capability um, with the polymer matrix. The organic ligand, ligand endows the compatibility of the morph to promote its catalyst performance and provide a certain carbon source for char residue generation. Therefore, we did a study on different mental ion morph applications in flame retardant PET using both experimental and DFT chem quantum chemistry calculation. Firstly, three kind of uh, uh, cationic types of morph were synthesized by solar thermal methods. Um, ferric morph showed a shuttle structure, while the aluminum morph had a regular um, bark crystal structure. However, the copper morph exhibited a high a long root shape. But all kind of these three morph showed a high thermal stability. Uh, indicating the possibility of MOF as a blinder to PET. So um, we further observe the cross section of the MOF PET. We could see the no obvious, um, obvious particles there, indicating the wear distribution of the MOF in the PET matrix. Um, Followingly. We employed the ferric morph as a model sample to systematically study the thermal degradation process of PET before and after ferric morph addition. Pyrolysis TG mass, TGIR, and TG mass was carried out to get a better understanding of the thermal degradation process of PET. From the experimental results, we found Mm, benzonic acid and 4 carboxybenzodiazepine is the main paralysis product for PET, and there is also a certain amount of CO and CO2 from the TGIR experimental test. Um, besides, there are also some ethylene and other kind of uh, gas products. From this, we conclude the possible reaction pathways for PET. The thermal degradation pathways of PET contained the competitive reactions between the beta cis elimination reaction and the homolytic cleavage in different thermal degradation stages. And followingly, we used the DFT calculation to investigate the thermal decomposition process of PET. Um, GIPS free energy change is necessary to explain the priority of different reactions. We conclude the possible paralysis steps here. The energy for beta cis elimination reaction and homolytic cleavage are very close, so it could be very easy to carry out these two kind of reactions in the PET thermal degradation. But from the um, summarized steps, we cannot explain the thermal degradation products as we revealed in the PYGC mass, uh, TGIR, and TG mass experimental data. So we followingly uh, use the semi empirical CFN methods to investigate this conflict. From this uh, small video, we could find that in the initial stage, when the mo molecular chain is relatively long, the activation energy is particularly high, making the base cis elimination reaction is very difficult to occur. The free radical was easier to generate 
CO2 and the CO. So we uh, followingly conclude that the benzenic acid parasites come from free radical decarboxylation due to the easy departure of the carboxy radical and, de uh, and the decarboxylase with increased energy. The free radical products will also facilitate, uh, facilitate the formation of vinyl ester and generate some uh, huge amount of hydrogen radicals. These radicals are very beneficial to terminate the active products. So we obtained the underlying thermal degradation pro uh, pros process of PET based on both experimental and quantum chemical calculation. In the first stage, the homolytic cleavage reaction was a primary reaction uh, due to the lower activation energy. But as the PET chains get shorter, bit cis elimination reaction occurred and generated carboxyl acid after uh, after the PET chains get shorter. And finally, the main products was benzo, benzo, uh, benzoic acid and four carboxy benzodehyde. So, in this study, uh, ferric morph PET was also uh, also also systematically studied using DFT calculation methods. Uh, the CDU sim simulation demonstrated that the ferric ion could complex with the CO double bond. At the same time, it would attract ester group. Uh, CO single bond and results to the free radical fracture and uh, leading to the rapid generation of benzo free radicals and carbon dioxide. Uh, also at the same time, the decarboxylation reaction of these free radicals generates the benzo radicals to form the graphite-like char residue in condensed phase. Uh, this proposed thermal degradation process was also verified by the TTIR and TG mass data, which shows a large amount of CO2, but uh, CO, and acetylene increasing. Based on our previous study, the GIPS energy, free energy of each step would be an eff effective method to predict the flame retardant properties of different cationic morph PET composites. So based on this uh, conclusion, the activate uh, the activate energy values of different kind of morph PET um, in the following steps were calculated. The steps enclosed firstly the active cation complex with CO double bond in structure A, followed the uh, CO single bond in the ester group. Um, thirdly, a homolytic reaction gen which generated the acetylene. Lastly, a new structure A replaced the two benzoic acid free radicals and repeated the above reaction. And uh, finally, benz benzoic acid free radicals would further produce the benzo free radical and CO2. Uh, in the key steps, the flame retardant properties of different morph PET could be predicted as the active energy order. That is, the fire resistance order was predicted as a ferric morph is better than aluminum morph. Aluminum morph is better than the copper morph. We proved this prediction order by combustion and flame retardant test in our following research. From the cone test, ferric morph PET performed the best with highest heat release reduction and char residue increase. 
followed by the aluminum morph PET, and copper morph did the worst among all the morph PET series. Besides, the char residue also quite different from the ferric and aluminum morph, and indicating there may be two different, quite different um, thermal degradation pathways for the uh, ferric and aluminum morph and copper morph. From the VFT and LOI test, ferric morph PET showed the highest LOI value of up to 24%, but aluminum morph reduced to 24, and copper morph is um, lower to 24%. So this flame retardancy order is also consistent with the flame retardancy prediction order we talked before. In conclusion, we find that GIPS free energy calculated by the DFT in the quantum chemistry calculation could be a very um, potential method to predict the thermal degradation pathway and uh, predict the flame retardant properties of, of, of morph PET. And in our, exper in our experimental range, the flame retardant order could be as this following order. The ferric morph PET is better than the aluminum morph PET and is better than the copper morph PET. And in specific a specific uh, discussion, the copper morph PT proceeded a one point cleavage reaction um, here, but they are showed a two points fraction for ferric morph and aluminum morph PT. And uh, what is impressed? Most is the potential method, the FT calculation, to predict the flame retardant PET uh, properties in our research and in the future research. Uh, this is some research progress we have made currently in the flame retardant polyester. Thank you for your attention and thank you for your listening. Here, I all I also want to thank all the members of my research group. Uh, that's all. Thanks again.